Hi, it's been a while since we made an actual YouTube video, right? This video will be the first in a series that summarizes interviews with the developers of Wii channels that were posted on the official Wii website in around 2007. Hopefully we will make one for each interview that was released. If you want to read the original interviews yourself, please go to interviews.rc24.xyz. The forecast channel's developers were nearly comprised of the same staff that developed the news channel, which explains why they function so similarly. The developers wanted people that usually don't play video games to get an experience with a Wii using the forecast and news channel. You probably have heard people say that the news and forecast channel is pointless, since you can get the weather or the news online or on TV. While the developers wanted to make a unique experience that is exclusive to the Wii, the globe was one of the first things added to the channel. The developers wanted to make it quick as possible to get the forecast information. To achieve this, they partnered with Akamai, a content delivery network, so that Wii's all over the world could download the forecast data as fast as possible. The forecast channel was easier in a sense to develop than the news channel because they used one weather source unlike the news channel, which used multiple news sources. A problem was that it was hard to debug the forecast channel when it displayed the wrong information for the forecast. They would have to investigate what went wrong, which is hard, especially when the problem happened during the night when developers were not at work. This is an issue that doesn't come up when developing a video game. Even though it's not a video game, they wanted to add some fun features to it. This is why they added the feature to spin the globe. It was a lot of hard work figuring out what cities should be on the globe for them. They put as many cities as possible. In the US, you could see hundreds of national cities. By the way, we have tried to include the same cities used on the original forecast channel. We have the same cities on the US version as there originally was, for instance. You might have noticed that the model the globe is provided by NASA because it's mentioned wherever possible on the channel. Something surprising to the developers was that people get their forecast information very differently in Japan and internationally. Nintendo of America really wanted the current weather data to be displayed in the channel, which the Japanese developers didn't understand what the point of that was because you could look out the window. In Japan and internationally, they couldn't agree on wh what icons to use for the weather, so Japan used cartoon-like icons and internationally realistic icons were used. Internationally, there are some weather conditions that aren't seen in Japan. Nintendo of Europe requested icons for conditions like hail and sleet. They wanted the icons to look exactly like they wanted it to be. Another icon was requested for haze, which is something that isn't seen in Japan. Also in Japan, they added a laundry index. A laundry index measures how appropriate it is to dry your clothes on a given day. This is something that people internationally don't know about since they use dryers. Also, a pollen count was added in Japan. Both were not included in the international versions, even though a pollen count is something that people are aware of internationally. The developers couldn't add too much forecast information because they had a limit on the data file size that they made. A thunderstorm icon was requested by Nintendo of America. In Japan, they have thunder, not thunderstorms. It was hard for them to understand why a thunderstorm icon was needed. Coincidentally, a thunderstorm hit Nintendo of America around the time they were adding the thunderstorm icon. This happened when final development of the channel was taking place and they weren't responding to their emails since the power went out. Another coincidence happened. A big rainstorm hit Europe just before the news channel was released. The developers realized that with the channels, they were dealing with the information that's important to our lives. They talked about a clock that was added to the top left of the screen of the forecast and news channel. The clock is not shown on the American version of the channels. So then Someone noted that they had a friend that would open up the forecast channel in the morning during breakfast in order to check the time. Even though the clock is displayed on Japanese TV broadcasts, the programming would distract them from eating. You probably know that the music changes on the forecast channel depending if it's day or night. They first had the night song. It was requested that the day song was made because a night song might make you feel sleepy in the morning. Something you might not know is that the news channel has a night song during the slideshow too, but it plays later in the night. The developers experimented with a speech library so that especially for the slideshow in the news channel, you wouldn't have to look at the TV. Actually, I think I know the speech library that they were talking about. It seems to be a Japanese-only library made by Toshiba. I think I'm one of the only people to know about that. I know about it because the Japanese-only game, Anakinsaku, which is literally a game about Google searching. It uses that Texas speech library. The speech library was obviously never implemented. The developers wanted to add more features, but they would have to make sure that they were stable. I think the channels ended up turning out to be very nice, and I'm glad we can let them live on with Reconnect24. 
A suggestion that the developers got was add one or two additional cities other than where you live to your setting of your local city. That's it. I hope you enjoyed listening to this story about how the forecast channel was developed. If you guys like this, I will be sure to make more for the other channels. Thanks for watching.